the shocking news overnight about the death of actor Matthew Perry, the friend star who famously played Chandler Bing, passing away at 54 years old. And law enforcement sources say that Perry died in his Pacific Palisades home. Police vehicles lining his street overnight, firefighters and paramedics responding to a call at his house. The official cause of death, though, is still under investigation. And just days ago, Perry posting this photo of himself soaking in a hot tub. Overnight fans gathering outside the Greenwich Village location where the Friends characters lived. And the official Friends Instagram account posted this, quote, he was a true gift to us all. ABC's Chris Connolly is in Los Angeles with more on his life and career. Chris, good morning. This is such a heartbreaker. And good morning to you too, Gio. Such a sad loss. With his performance on Friends, Matthew Perry was welcomed into the homes and the hearts of generations of TV viewers. And while he earned their affection by playing Chandler Bing, he earned enduring admiration from his peers and his public by sharing his decades-long struggle with addiction and shining a light of hope. Please, could she be more out of my league? Ross, back me up here. He could never get a woman like that in a million years. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> For 10 seasons on the hit TV series Friends, Matthew Perry played Chandler Bing, pal to David Twimmer's Ross and Matt LeBlanc's Joey. Could we be more white trash? <laughs> well, I loved Chandler. I loved the show, and I also knew, remember this, because it's going to be the best time of your life. Perry's deft comic skills and fresh-faced appeal made him a fan favorite. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. Even as Chandler remained relationship challenged through much of the sitcom's run, a quality friend's producers knew Perry himself had. They took us all separately to lunch and said, tell us about you. And I said, well, I'm not an ugly guy, but I have a lot of trouble with women. And that's what Chandler became, you know. Hired for the show at 24, featured in all of the series' 236 episodes, Perry would shine even brighter after his character was coupled with Courtney Cox's Monica. I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. The show's success made him a breakout star in the 90s. But Perry was more than friends. His guest starring role on The West Wing earned him acclaim, showing he could handle drama and comedy. I was saying that it's good that you can buy food for less than an entire wage. He'd find success on the big screen with the whole nine yards. He'd join Michael J. Fox as the only actors to have a number one movie and a number one TV series simultaneously. And he'd star opposite Salma Hayek in Fools Rush In. You are everything I never knew I always wanted. Yet his evident intelligence, his easy charm, and that engaging grin would often conceal how challenging life was for the Canadian bred Perry. As he described last year in his best-selling memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, and in his landmark interview with Diane Sawyer, He'd live in the grip of addiction to alcohol and to such prescription drugs as the painkiller Vicodin, taking scores of pills each day. I guess the weirdest thing I did was on Sundays, I would go to open houses and go to the bathrooms in the, so in the open house and see what pills they had in there and steal them. And I think they thought, well, there's no way that Chandler came in and stole from us. Perry describing to our George Stephanopoulos how he discovered his addiction. You didn't know? I didn't know. I was wondering because I had to keep it a secret because I didn't understand really what was going on. But, you know, there were certain lines in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous that made me more aware. For decades, addiction would put Perry through hell, leading to severe weight loss and more than a dozen surgeries. There'd be countless months in treatment as time and again he sought help. Your disease is just outside, just doing one-arm push-ups, just waiting, just waiting for you, waiting to get you alone. Because alone, you lose to the disease. And now I finally feel okay and feel like I've got some strength. What's your dream day? Playing games, watching movies. I want to work out. I want to play pickleball. I play it almost every day. And that's why this tan is real and not <laughs> fake. Matthew Perry was found dead Saturday afternoon at his Los Angeles home. He was 54. Those who worked alongside him and knew him, sharing their grief on social media. 
Maggie Wheeler, a frequent face on Friends. What a loss. The world will miss you, Matthew Perry. I feel so very blessed by every creative moment we shared. Morgan Fairchild, who played Chandler's mother on Friends, posting on X, I'm heartbroken about the untimely death of my son, Matthew Perry. The loss of such a brilliant young actor is a shock. I'm sending love and condolences to his friends and family. Selma Blair, my oldest boyfriend. All of us loved Matthew Perry, and I did especially, every day. I loved him unconditionally, and he me. And I'm broken, broken-hearted. Sweet dreams, Maddie, sweet dreams. Truly beloved by his Hollywood peers as much as he was by Friends fans, Perry said that he told his story in all of its grim detail and personal devastation because he hoped that it might help others. I don't like talking about it, but I know it's going to help people to talk about it. Also on social media, the voices of those who were helped by his story, encouraged or moved or made to feel less alone in the world. For that accomplishment, and even more so for all the laughter he brought into being, Matthew Perry will be mourned, he'll be missed, and he'll be remembered, Janae. He absolutely will. It feels like the end of an era, losing one of the friend's friends. Uh, and Chris, I mean, in that interview with Diane, that was just about a year ago, he talked about he had so many other interests, including pickleball. Yeah, he was a big sports guy out here, big fan of ice hockey in the L.A. Kings, hosted the 2005 ESPYs, was a nationally ranked tennis player as a junior. And Friends fans might remember seeing that Toronto Blue Jays baseball cap in the back of some of Chandler's shots. So a lot of communities really feeling the loss today. Wit. Absolutely. Chris Connolly for us. Thank you so much. Such an incredible loss this morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.